it's Lila Jessica and today we're going to be updating my coffee table because I just wanted something new. So over here I have already done one side and just made sure I knew how to do what I'm going to do before I look like a crazy person on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this board the same shape as the one that I've already done and we're just going to line it up and trace it out. So I actually don't have any safety goggles, but I will be using my blue light glasses for when I work at work and like just watching anime all day on my laptop. So hopefully this will be good enough, but I do have some safety goggles at my work and office. Uh, I just need to get them, okay? Remind me everyone, please. wherever with the little narwhal device. So next I use my drill again, Mr. Narwhal, and we will put our um, board lined up and use it as our marker because a pencil can't fit through this three-fourths thick piece of wood. So let's do that. If you look, you can kind of see the holes I drilled. And now I'm going to take some wood filler and fill in the gaps with my terrible cutting skills that I've created and maybe that will kind of keep it from being so spaced out. Next I'm using this spackle and I'm going to try to make some nice like detail, a texture on the wood and then let it dry. So let's try this out. I'm going to use the same size spatula as I did for the wood. Um, filler, so let's see if this works out. It's pink! The spackle was flaking off, so I got some of this stuff due to uh, the people at the store telling me this would be good. They did not tell me it was this dark color, so I had to add spray paint. The final result, love it. And now part two is about my bookcase. I am so sorry about my hair. I was trying to come up with a new hairstyle and I used like uh, one of those big clips and I thought, oh, you know, like a naturally messy hairstyle. I am so sorry I look crazy, but I'm so excited to work on this bookcase. I've been waiting days for it to come in. UPS in my area has been having issues due to forest fires. So sadly there is that issue and hopefully we can stop using and creating fires and leaving them unattended. But I'm so excited to finally get this thing open because as you can see, I'm a struggler when it comes to opening things. Look at me, I feel like I'm one of those like magician ladies that are about to like stab a sword through the uh, case where the like magician is. And now we just gotta open it. And I'm so excited. It's something I have to build though. So let's get to it. I just laid everything out and now I'm going to take the plastic off. And that took a little bit. Augie was curious about everything. She was making sure it wasn't trying to fight her. 
because you know she'll throw hands when it comes down to it. I like to clean as I work, so at the end of the project, I don't have a huge mess around my house, and I am so excited to get this. I saw in the instruction books that you have to lay it out by um, the stickers that have little alphabets on each piece, so I did that. But first of all, here's Augie being so cute and supportive. And here's the area where I plan on putting the shelf. It's where her litter is. And here's the organized pieces. Okay, so I'm using this instruction book to help me through it. And then it's all like, has little stickers on the metal things for like A, B, C, D. So I kind of categorized it around me to have um, all the letters together. If you can see that, sorry, it's so sunny. I was trying to get better lighting, but then like some of me is shaded. Anyway, so yeah, so now I'm just gonna work on putting this together. So I used to have like a side table by my couch, but I decided to get this shelving unit off of Amazon that I'm going to work on and I'm going to put it back to all these litter bucks and hopefully I can find like a cute container to store her litter for replacing it. But yeah, I'm really excited to get this shelf instead of the night, the table, side table there because it was just not cute, but I had to have like great storage for all of Augie's toys, her little treats, and like her personal care things such as like nail clippers. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm just assembling the pieces according to the guidebook and following the instructions. It seems pretty straightforward. I am really grateful that they labeled the pieces so you know what to do. It's really important according to the instruction guide to make sure that the back of the shelf, it's the side with the holes in it, stays on the side that you keep up as you're working on it. So yeah, I'm super excited. It seems so nice and easy, but I will say it's a lot frailer or more fragile than I assumed it to be, but it's okay because you know, it was affordable. I got it off of Amazon and I think it's super cute. I see it all over social media and I was like, I need to get one of those because I guess I'm basic and want to copy everyone. So yeah. And if you squint your eyes ever so closely, you can see that I have the back of the bookcase up with the holes. And I think those holes are used for, of course, assembling the shelving, but also hooking it and attaching it to the wall so it doesn't accidentally fall over and hurt anyone. I do not attach things because I don't know how to put holes in the wall. And now I'm adding my shelves and I am very bad at getting an angle, but I'm trying so hard for you guys. So thank you so much for being patient with me and I'm going to add more, but it's really annoying to do this. So I'll probably just use some magic and skip past this once I figure out what I'm doing in life. Oh, sadly, I'm still here working on this. Haha, <laughs> sorry. And now we are going to add the backings. I guess that's supportive. And I'm so excited. It's almost done. I have it upside down. I don't know why. I just thought it would be easier for some reason. I guess I just like to challenge myself. But look at me go. Look at my muscles. I'm so, so muscly. Okay, now all that's left is for me to flip this sucker over and hopefully I can do the glass on it next. So let's get to going. I don't know why I am such a struggler, but I guess I can't do life without giving myself a little struggle. So, you know, I thought it was funny though. So hopefully you enjoy my struggles. Hey. You guys, I forgot it. I want to sleep under here. It's filled with 
But it looks cute so far. Chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chimini. I don't know the song well, but I'm not sweeping chimneys anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she's as clean as I'm going to get her. So let's place my shelving unit and then add the glass. stickers off of this. So yay! And now I have this heavy box of glass. Eee. I'm pretty sure this is the glass shelving that I will be adding, so I'm excited to finally open up the grand finale of my project. Ooh, it's so clean, so shiny, so yay! clear. So let's put it on carefully. I totally am great at this. I know what I'm doing. I'm not a struggler, but yeah, see, look how easy that was. And here's the finale, the grand results. She is finished. Now I gotta figure out where all these litter books shall exist. And then I need to figure out stuff to put on this, so I guess that means shopping for me. Since it's fall, let's just add some pumpkins and I'll see what else around the house I can add to this. Yay! When you find more stuff to put on the shelf. Hello, Duh. Everyone, thank you so, so much for watching. As usual, I really appreciate your time. And just let me know what you think and maybe some suggestions about cute ways to store litter boxes so I can uh, litter, not litter boxes, litter so I can like kind of put her litter in an attractive like container, like hide it in a vase with like a lid or something, just so I can make it look aesthetically pleasing instead of having a huge bag of litter like this. See you next week, everyone. Have a great one.